Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome, welcome. My name is Georgia. So let's get into some more celebrity gossip, reality TV gossip. So according to Radar Online, we have uh, another another situation. Let's call it a situation with Kim Zosiak and Croy. If you guys remember, I think it was last month, it went out that Croy and Kim were getting a divorce. And then they're like, okay, we're not going to bother. We're going to call it back. We're going to call it off. It's cheaper to keep her, so let's do this. Then a couple of days ago, we hear that Croy has filed for divorce and he wants full custody of the kids. And now we're hearing that he locked Kim out of the mansion. And now this is the next installment of what happened. So the title reads, Kim Zosiak calls the police on husband Croy after he allegedly locks her out of Georgia mansion one day after he files for divorce. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kim Zosiak was allegedly locked out of her house after an explosive verbal dispute with her estranged husband, Croy Burt Bierman. Radar Online can exclusively reveal. So this is an exclusive story for Radar Online. The all too common dust up erupted just one day after Bierman slapped his Zosiak with divorce papers, seeking full custody of their four children. Child support and exclusive rights to live in the toxic mini mansion they share in Milton, Georgia. In a symbolic gesture, Beerman cruelly left a pillar outside the front door for his exchange wife. Oh my God! As if to say, you could sleep outside. Wow! What happened? Its police documents exclusively obtained by Radar Online show a desperate Zosiac called police at about 11.50 p.m. on Friday, August 25th to report a domestic disturbance. Call a statement, husband locked her out. Call her arguing with husband. According to the police report, no one in danger, but call the reports her husband has threatened her. The latest argument may have erupted after a process server officially delivered the divorce documents to the 45-year-old reality star on Friday, August 25th at 7 p.m. Zosiak has yet to file a response in the Fulton County Divorce Court. As Radar Online previously reported, Beerman filed for divorce a second time, only weeks after dismissing his first filing, came after the two had a series of blowout fights over money. Sources claim the two blame each other for being in debt. Deep, including a $1.1 million owed to the IRS in back taxes. You gotta pay your taxes. What's more, the financially strapped duo has been slapped with multiple lawsuits in the past couple of months over unpaid bills. The documents also show Zosiak was financially chatting, was frantically, sorry, frantically chatting with the police dispatcher as she attempted to enter her home. She had a locksmith come out and drill into the door to get in, the police report stated. Her husband has put a pillow outside the door and won't let her in the house. Police dispatch records show the officers left the scene about an hour later at 1 a.m. the next day. The home was the site of many fights that involved police. Radar Online obtained exclusive body cam footage of Zosiak and Beerman talking to the police about their dysfunctional relationship marred by constant bickering and petty gamesmanship. During one interview, Zosiak alleged her ex could have the brain-altering CTE for, from his days playing football, while Beerman railed against his reality star wife, alleging online gambling addiction that has wiped out their life savings. For now, the two remain living under the same roof. The police report indicates the children are sleeping at the, were sleeping at the time of the domestic fireworks.
Wow, Radar Online always end their, their article with something like, what? <laughs> Domestic fireworks. Okay, so there you have it. That is the entire article. So I don't think Croy is going to back down from this one because I think since they called off the divorce, from what we're hearing in entertainment news, I believe there are a number of other lawsuits that has come for unpaid bills. A lot of stores, I believe, that they have accounts with her are suing them for their unpaid bills. So I don't think Croy is going to stop. And as far as the online gambling thing, that is something that we've been hearing about since her first season with Real Housewives of Atlanta. And um, her accusing him of the brain altering CTE injury. I don't know about that. But hey, you know, we have people who go through relationship problems on a daily basis. But this two, these two right here, it keeps coming back to us. We thought they were cool. They were settled. They were going to stick it, stick, stick it out and work it out. But I think um, Croy has had enough. So guys, if I have any more installments or any more updates, I will bring it to you. For more celebrity gossip reality TV reviews, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this video if you wish, and until next time, be sure to take care of yourselves and your families. Bye-bye.